A school turned shelter in the Al Shati refugee camp, reduced to rubble by an Israeli airstrike. People rushed to the bomb site in Gaza City to free those trapped. There are a number of martyrs. Eleven martyrs arrived at Al Shifa and Al Ali Hospital and a large number of injuries. Most of the injuries are children and women. And as civilian casualties grow, Egypt's president has joined the growing calls for a ceasefire to allow urgent aid into the enclave and get hostages home. We affirm that our brothers in the Gaza Strip are facing an extremely difficult siege, reaching the point of starvation, and it is crucial that aid enters as quickly as possible. In Lebanon, the coastal city of Sidon came under fire for the first time since Israel opened a second front against the militant group Hezbollah last month. And Israel has attacked the group's backer, Iran, over the weekend, retaliation for a ballistic missile barrage earlier this month. The attack in Iran was precise and powerful and achieved all of its objectives. Iran's supreme leader insisting the strikes should not be downplayed or exaggerated. They are yet to appreciate Iran's power, capability, creativity and willpower. We must make them understand those. Israel also faces threats from within its own borders. North of Tel Aviv, a truck ploughed into a bus stop outside a military base in Glilot, injuring dozens. Police say the alleged attacker, an Arab Israeli, was shot dead by bystanders. The investigators will be poring over the wreckage for some time, looking for any clues they can, but we also know that Israel's intelligence service will be looking into this matter, trying to figure out what they can about the driver as they consider if this was a terrorist attack. Perhaps a tougher question for the intelligence service is how to keep Israelis safe at home. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Glilot.